we did a lot of good things. I think one of the plays that stood out to me in the game was at the end of the first quarter. Very last play, four seconds, Nelson County backs off into a quarter court defense and Breed lets the ball roll right. all the way up the floor and allowed Sydney to get the open three. And I saw her dad point and say, like, such a smart play. Right. You can't teach those plays, can you? No, she, that's, I tell you, she's got basketball knowledge and she's got instincts. So uh, she knows what she's doing. For an eighth grader, she does a great job. Sydney had a good game shooting six yeah. threes. In a lot of ways, Sydney just did what Sydney does. Yeah, and we, you know, I've told her, I've told her several times. I said, Sid, just stay behind the three-point line. We'll get you the ball, and you're gonna get some open looks. Cause the way we're moving the ball now, I mean, she's she's moving it. Her man's leaving her, to, her person's leaving her to help, and now we can get a kick back right to her. So we're, we're starting to see that. So it's it's good to see. Allie free throws, five of six. That was something she really struggled at when she played two years ago. And now you can trust to keep her on the oh, floor. Oh, yeah. She's pra she, she practices her free throw, takes them serious, because going back to the sprints uh, <laughs> makes a difference. She don't like to run. And, uh, Neither but, do I. You know, I see we, you know, Bree had 14. We got two with nine. So we, we come close to having, uh, you know, four in double figures. So that, that's good to see. Monday, Butler. You win, you're the one. Yep. How do you prepare? Uh, I told the girls right there, right before I come out here, that here's their challenge till Monday night, is who wants to be the number one seed, us, or we want a three-way tie. So that's our, that's our challenge. We'll see if they take it. Coach, look forward to it. We'll talk to you on Monday. All right, thank that's you. That's Coach Mack, Lady Cougars win. More comes up after this. Are you looking for the best building materials in Litchfield? Look no further than Future Designs Building Materials. The builder's choice on Quarry Road has everything you need to build your dream home. Jim writes, I'm so glad I came to Future Designs for my new roof. The staff was so helpful and knowledgeable, and they made sure I got the right materials for my needs. Thanks, Jim. Future Designs is more than just a building materials store. Future Designs Building Materials on Quarry Road in Litchfield. FDBM.net. No matter what you're up against, we have your back. We, we are, are United, United Way. Way. We, we are, are neighbors helping neighbors. In communities around the world, when disaster strikes, we get you back on your feet. We help children build brighter futures. We've been here for over 135 years. But now, our work is more important than ever. Join, Join us. Join, Join your neighbors. neighbors. Join, Join United, United Way. Way. Do you need help paying for college? Your first step is completing a FAFSA, free application for federal student aid. The 24-25 FAFSA will be available in late December 2023 and is more user-friendly. More students will be eligible for aid than ever before. Kia counselors and others are ready to help you. You're not in this alone. For more information, use the QR code or text money to 800-928-8926. Or you can visit gearupky.org slash money. Connection builds community. It grows the minds of future citizens and leaders. Connection teaches. It encourages. It builds confidence through relationships, through partnerships, through small daily acts, through high impact programs at all levels. Connection says together we can. The one thing I know about Grayson County Schools, when you get the right people going in the right direction, anything's possible. We are GC Connected. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Welcome back to Breckenridge County High School where we're getting ready to have world's fastest pregame show for Grayson County, Breckenridge County. Grayson County, 13 and nine. They just won last night. Breckenridge County, they're 12 and 10. They also won last night. Breckenridge County 6-0 in their district. Grayson County 3-1. There we go. We've got that part done. Uh, how about we just bring in the starters because I've got to do this in 45 seconds. For Breckenridge County, Chase Hardesty 7.8 points. Mercer Rogers 15.2 points. Jonah Miller 8.2 points. Lance Poole 9.2 points. Brayden Carmen 6.3 points and also 7 rebounds. There you go, Breck. Jeff LaGrange, he's a great man. He's going to coach him up. Grayson County. Travis Johnston, he's their coach. You know him. He's great. He's got five assistant coaches. They're cool, too. 13-9, that's their record. They beat Whitesville Trinity last night. Spencer Langdon, 17 points. Gage Napier, 3.2. Landon Haycraft, 3. Tate Longston, he's back today. He's not starting. Kobe Martin going to start in his place, 3.3 points. Jack Longston, 19.4 points. He had a good game last night. He had over 20 points. There we go. That's your pregame show. Grayson County and Breckenridge County comes up next. Here. Connection builds community. It grows the minds of future citizens and leaders. Connection teaches. It encourages. It builds confidence 
through relationships, through partnerships, through small daily acts, through high impact programs at all levels. Connection says together we can. The one thing I know about Grayson County Schools, when you get the right people going in the right direction, anything's possible. We are GC Connected. Hi, I'm Dr. Ashley Gabbard, internal medicine physician with Owensboro Health. I'd like to talk with women 40 and over about having annual mammograms, even if there is no history of breast cancer in your family. Early detection provides women a strong advantage in fighting breast cancer. Ask your primary care provider for a referral and schedule your screening online at owensborohealth.org slash mammogram. I actually might have had a few more seconds to do my pregame show because they're taking a little bit more time, and that makes sense to do the starting lineups for this game because you've got the home team, Breckenridge County, in this one. Should be a good matchup here between these two teams. They played back first game of the season. That was November the 28th, and it was Grayson County that won 69-66. to I'll flip all the way back in the book and remind you about that game. Jack Logston, 20 points. Spencer Langdon, 17. Nine for Gage Napier in that. Of course, no Tate Logston in that game. Grace County will again be without today Brody Armstrong, who will not start in this game. For Breckenridge County, it was 15 for Mercer Rogers and 15 for Lance Poole, 12 for Jonah Miller to pace them in scoring in that game. There you go. That's about all I have time to do because it's about time for basketball in Harnett between Grayson County and Breckenridge County. Brian Robinson, the official, he's about ready to toss it up so we can get ready to roll. Jack Logs to the jump against Braden Carmen for Breckenridge County. The opening tip is up and it's controlled by the Grayson County Cougars. You'll be working from left to right. We're in the navy blue jerseys, that orange and white stripe up each side, white numerals on those navy blue jerseys. Kobe Martin up top, spin move down the lane, off the glass, the shot, no good, off to the left. Rebounded on the floor by Mercer Rogers for Breckenridge County. This Fighting t Tiger team has been playing their best basketball over these last couple of weeks. They've won seven straight, including last night to Hancock County, 69-41. to Last time they were here, they won a double overtime game against South Spencer, Indiana. Inside pass deflected and taken away by Grayson County. Jack Logston up and running up the near side of the floor. Logston lowers the shoulder, backs it off into the corner, fires down to the right block to Haycraft. Haycraft back off into the corner now to Jack Logston. Logston, ball fake, three, near side, got it! Jack Logston, his first shot made in this game. And it is three to nothing, Lady Cougars are on top. Bounce pass on the inside. Carmen, reverse layup is good to answer. When these two teams played back in November, it was back and forth. I've never been more thirsty than I was after that game because I didn't get a chance to take a breath the entire game. Jack Logs in between the circle, spin move, free throw line, jumper is off to the rights. Rebounded by Poole on the floor for Breckenridge County. They flip it off to the guard, Chase Hardesty, back up top to Lance Poole. Thought he was gonna pull up from the volleyball line and said he's gonna drive in on Martin. Poole has a size advantage on him. His shot is off to the left, though. Rebounded by Breckenridge County's Carmen. He goes up with a shot. It's missed, gets his own rebound, and puts it up and in. Brayton Carmen has four points early. Breckenridge County leads 4-3. to three. Six minutes and 20 seconds left in the first quarter of play. Up top, Langdon. Kicks it off far side. Napier, three. Off the back of the iron. Rebound. Bouncing around. Longston's got it for Grayson. Fires down to the right block to Haycraft, and he's fouled on the drive by Breckenridge County. They'll whistle this foul on number one, Chase Hardesty, his first, team's first. To the line will be Landon Haycraft, just about 70% on the season. And he misses the first free throw. Haycraft, the starting catcher of the Grayson County baseball team, hit 345 with seven runs batted in. Move from shortstop to catcher, and he puts it in. Landon's one of those athletes, though, that he probably could play left tackle on the football team and then also play first base on baseball, and Spencer Langdon almost takes away the inbounds pass. As it's Breckenridge County, Lance Poole, he gets the hole. He's a good athlete, too. Too strong in a layup. Rebound bouncing around. Kobe Martin had it, lost it. Carmen's got it, and he'll put it in on that left side. Braden Carmen, he's got Six points, and Breckenridge County leads 6-4, to 5.45 left here in this first quarter of play. 
Jack Logston spins at the left elbow, kicks it off to Langdon. Langdon at the free throw line, backs it off in between the circles. Right side, Napier. Back off left wing, deep one. Kobe Martin will take the three. The bank's not open. Rebound rolling around, and Carmen with another one early on in this game. Mercer Rogers, he'll drive downhill. Late, and it's taken away by Napier. Into the hands of Logston. Behind the back dribble as he crosses the timeline. Logston in the near corner. He's hitting the face. No whistle. Loose ball. Jump ball finally does come. And the arrow will head towards Breckenridge County. 6-4. Fighting Tigers on top of Grayson County. 5-16 left here in this first quarter of play. Jonah Miller to trigger. Cougars coming out in full court pressure. Grace County without Peru Armstrong today. Peyton Longston is expected to be back, though, after missing last night's game with the Nilmas. Lance Poole, turnaround three, good. He only shoots 20% from three, but he puts in that open one there. And Breck leads Grayson nine to four, under five minutes left in the first quarter. Right side, Langdon, guarded by Poole at the free throw line. He curls around, Langdon jump pass to Martin in the far corner. Martin. On the drive, lowers the shoulder, gets the hole, shots off to the right, no good, but he's fouled by Breckenridge County. Jeff LaGrange, none too thrilled with a call. Lance Poole, or correction, Braden Carmen picks up the foul. His first, team second, Kobe Martin to the free throw line where he's about 54%. This Cougar team as a whole shoots the free throw pretty well. And first one, good. Kobe not the strongest one. And as Steven talked about last night, for him, he can tell it's just sometimes about not always getting the exact form he should. Makes both free throws there. And Grayson County leads, or trails nine to six after both free throws by Kobe Martin. The double team comes. Miller trapped in the backcourt. Guarded by Martin. Picks up his dribble. Fires off the pool. Who comes down with it. Gives it off to Rogers. Rogers bounce pass inside to Carmen. Layup good. Brayton Carmen, eight points. In the first quarter of play, Breck leads Grayson 11 to six, four and a half left in the first quarter of action. Right side, Napier, guarded by Carmen. Into the far corner to Langdon. Poole has a hand in his face. Langdon on the drive and he is fouled. Oh, they're gonna call a jump ball. Arrow's gonna stay here. And Travis Johnson's gonna send Tayden Longston in. Tayden missed last night's game with an illness. He is back today. Kobe Martin gotta come out for a breather. 4.15 left in the first quarter. Grayson County leads 11, or trails 11 to six. Far side, Langdon, jump pass inside to Haycraft, spins in the lane, and Haycraft gets the shot on that left side. Haycraft three early points, and it's a three point game now, 11 to eight. Mercer Rogers, bounce pass back to Miller in the middle. Rogers, outlet to Poole, three near side, good. Lance Poole hits his second three of the game. Getting 20.5% from three. It's probably a shot that Grayson County will be fine to let him have more often than not, but I also don't want to let, see him get hot. Napier in between the circles. Up top to Logston. 14 to eight. Tayden Logston, three near side. That's good. Sick no more, says Tayden Logston. He's only shooting 12% from three. Now that is limited attempts. Tayden's only played a couple of games since being ruled eligible. Late in the month of January. Ball fake, Hardesty on the drive, layup, good. Breckenridge County on fire from the field early on. Grace County trying to keep up as it's 16 to 11 with 3.10 left in the first quarter of play. Tayden logs and he's gonna let another one fly from the right side, it's off the back of the iron. Rebounded by Jonah Miller for Grayson County. Hayden Robinson set to come off the bench. He'll come in at the next stop at your play. Miller. Drives in, kicks to the near side. Mercer Rogers, three, good. He'll put in his first three of the game. That's three threes in the first quarter of play. I'm not sure Brex missed from the field. Left wing, Langdon. He'll answer on the left side. In and out, it pops on the three. Napier gets his own rebound. Napier in the corner. He picked up his dribble. Bounce pass back to Tade Longston. Fires down to Haycraft. Haycraft to Longston, who cuts down. Jack can't finish, but he's fouled by... Breckenridge County on that shot. Two shots will come for Jack. Chase Hardesty, his second. Team's third. And subs coming in. Braxton Tall averaging 4.4. And Hayden Brockman, 4.7 in for the Tigers. Jack Logson will go to the line to shoot two. Jack, 
fourth in the state in free throw percentage. Nine of 10 last night. And first one good. There's not much you'd probably be more confident in than a Jack Logson free throw, maybe a Sidney Perkins open corner pocket three. I mean, Jack Logson, about 90%. That'll get it done. Both of them good. Hayden Robinson going to come in for Jack Logson. Hey, I think Hayden might have a, he might have gotten his ears lowered since last night. If not, I might have not noticed it. A little fade goal, 19-13. Breck leads Grayson. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in the first quarter of play. Up top to Brockman. On the inside to Miller. In on Napier, lowers the shoulder and spins in. And another shot good by Breckenridge County. On fire to open up with the Tigers. 21-13. Off to Napier on that right side. Napier gives it in between the circles to Langdon. Fires off to Taden Logston. Taden drives to the left block. Flips it up. Does not roll in. Rebounded by Breckenridge County's Miller. Miller's going to take it himself right up the middle of the floor. Guarded by Napier. Miller backs it off in between the circles. Again, Breckenridge County, I'm not sure they've missed from the floor in this first quarter of play. Driving and kicking tall inside to Miller. Off to Brockman. Shot. Guess what? It's good. From about 15 in the near side, Travis Johnston wants a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with him. Breck leads by 10 with 136 left in the first quarter. This is Cougar basketball on the moose. Breckenridge County is unconscious from the field to open up here in this second half, or in this first quarter of play. Sorry, I got to fix there. Sorry if you're listening on the radio. Not entirely sure what happened there, but we're good. We fixed our issue. And I think we're back. Right elbow, Robinson gives it off to Langdon. Three on the right sides off the front of the iron. Rebound bouncing around, and Breckenridge County's got it. The Tigers lead 23 to 13 with 118 left in the first quarter of play. If they've missed, it's been one miss for Breck in this game. Absolutely unconscious. And a touch foul is going to be called on Tayden Logston. It's his first, team's first. I didn't see it. But 108 left in the first quarter. Jack Logston re-enters for Grayson. Mercer Rogers on the right side. Crosses a pass deflected by Haycraft. Goes into the hands, though, of Brockman. It's been the kind of day it's been for Grayson County. Tall goes up and is fouled on the drive by Napier. I think they're going to give this to. They're going to call it a pass. They're going to say no shot. That is his first team second. They're going to talk it over. And they're wanting a shot. They're going to say no, it was a pass. They're going to say it's on the floor. That was a shot. That's just between us, though. Jeff Grange agrees with what I said. Far side, Mercer Rogers, three off the inbounds. It's an air ball. They're human. And it's an air ball from their best shooter. If you had that on your bingo card, then congratulations. Jack logs it at the free throw line, lowers the shoulder, gets to the hole, and lays it in on the right side. Just an aggressive take by Jack. And now Tayden Logston steals the inbounds but knocks it right out of bounds. It's amazing what one play can do. Into the game for Breck, Devin Spalding. Over half his shots come from three-point range. That's why he's in there. Zach Bratcher enters for Grayson, as does Kobe Martin re-enters. Bratcher, three-point specialist, two and a half points. We've only had the one game where he's really been feeling it, but we've seen it where Zach can just absolutely be unconscious from three. 30 seconds left here in the first quarter of play. Breck on top, 23-15 against Grayson. Left side, Brockman. Swings it off right side to Tall. On the inside to Poole. Poole bodies up, the floater is good. 
Lance Poole has eight points. Ten seconds left in the first quarter of play. It is 25 to 15. Logston in between the circles gets a screen from Jack Logston. Tate into the hole off the right side. Shots missed. Rebounded by Brockman with two seconds. With one second, they're going to loop a pass off to Rogers. He will not get a shot off. The end of the first quarter of play. Breck leads Grayson 25 to 15. This is Cougar basketball on the moose. We had an MRI, and then all of a sudden this doctor comes in and he says to us, uh, we have the potential here for a catastrophic event. And he looks scared. He looked terrified. And he's like, we got to operate now. It just all changed. Life changed. Bryce is one of the 47 children per day who are diagnosed with cancer. Today's treatments aren't enough. To watch the rest of Bryce's story, visit childrenscancer.org slash story. Hi, my name is Tara Mosley Hyde and I'm the CEO of People Advocating Recovery. And I am also a person in long-term recovery. And when I first started my recovery journey, it wasn't always easy for me to access resources. So now you can call today at 833-8-KY-HELP and get access to treatment and other options and other resources. Call today. There is no judgment and no shame to look for help. Well, if you want some good news, I don't know that Breckenridge kind of can shoot much better than they did in that first quarter of play. They lead 25 to 15. I mean, you know, Tigers on pace to hang 100. Sure, Travis Johnson, none too thrilled, but a lot of it too is hey, we're knocking down their shots, getting some rebounds, getting second chance. But I, I don't know that they missed much more than two or three times in that half of play. Cougars start with the ball, working from left to right. Here in this second quarter, they trail by 10. Right side, Taden Logston swings it off to Bratcher. Ball fake to Logston, gives it back now to Taden Logston. Taden Logston, so you have Taden and Jack both on the floor. Taden on the drive, stops, starts off the left side, shots missed. He was looking for a foul, didn't get it, and rebounded by Breckenridge County. They're off and running. Tall on the drive, in on Jack Logs and crosses it to the corner. It's well out of bounds. Stay with the Cougars. Travis Johnston, the head coach for Grayson. Looks on. Johnston, 89 and 107 in his seventh season at the helm of this Cougar program. And Grayson throws it away. I, Hayden Robinson and Zach Bratcher and Jack Logs were not on the same page. When you're trying to come back, you can't have mistakes like that. Twenty-five, fifteen, seven, fourteen left here in this first half. Breck up by ten. We've slowed down to a snail's pace. Carmen tries to split defenders. It's a bounce pass to Tall. Three far side missed. Jack Logston with a rebound. Logston up and running. Behind the back dribble as he gives it to Hayden Robinson. Three left side. Good! Hayden Robinson puts in the three on the left wing. And it's 25-18, 6.50 left here in this first half. There you go. You've gotten a stop. You've gotten a bucket. Now let's see if you can turn it into one more. Deep three. Mercer Rogers to answer. It's off to the left. Long rebound. Out of bounds. Off of, I don't know if, if Tall ended up touching it or not. It doesn't matter. It goes out. Regardless, ball headed back towards Grayson County. Lady Cougars won earlier today against Nelson County. It was their ninth straight win. Both teams will host Butler County on Monday in a game that we need a huge crown. If you're home watching and you're close, come out and support the teams as they take on good old Butler County. Bounce pass to Martin on the right side. Jab step, drives. Pulls up inside the free throw line. The bank is not open for him. It's his second shot he's trying to bank that has not fallen. Rebounded by Breckenridge County. Tall up the far side of the floor to, Mar to uh, Miller. Into the corner to Rogers. Back up top to Miller. Miller will drive, loses the ball. It's into the hands, though, on the interior. Tall, blocked by Logston on the inside, bouncing around. It finds Carmen. Carmen takes a shot at Jack Logston, and it's still alive on the inside. Jack is recovering, and now we're going to have a foul call. Foul called on Hayden Robinson. Jack Longston on that play. Braden Carmen took the ball and smacked Jack in the face. And Travis Johnston is asking for an explanation, and he does the exact move I just did. Not that you could see me when I did that explanation. First free throw, good by 
Jonah Miller. Jonah Miller, 73%. For Hayden, that was just his first. Second. Good. 27-18. And now a throwaway. Grayson County gives the ball right back to the Tigers. Mercer Rogers backs it off deep on the left side. Cougars playing a little zone right now. Now they might have shifted back into man-to-man. -man. No, it does. It is like a 2-3 zone of sorts for this Grayson County team. 27-18. Cougars trail. Mercer Rogers, floater in the lane is missed. He gets his own rebound, lowers the shoulder. Second chance, miss. Another chance, Carmen rebound, good. Travis Johnson wants a timeout. The second chance points are adding up for Brack. They lead by 11, 5-12 left in the first half. It's Cougar basketball in the Moose. Are you ready to help your family get prepared for the unexpected? Here we go! Ladybug and Cat Noir know how important it is to be ready because you never know when Hawk Moth is going to strike or a disaster will hit. And you don't need miraculous powers. Just put those planning skills you already have to good use. Make a plan that will help you and your family be ready when emergencies happen. Ready Kids can help. Get started at ready.gov slash kids. Travis Johnston's message right now to his team during this full timeout is, I don't know what you want me to do to motivate you to play harder, I think was his exact words. And I don't know that I necessarily blame him. Right now the Cougars are playing, I'm not sure if lethargic is the moment, the word, but it, it, it's very similar to last night. And I'll tell you what, they're, they're missing Brody Armstrong. Brody Armstrong is that spark plug for the Cougars. And they really need him back. Brody, it's unsure as to exactly when he could be back. Somebody's got to step up. 29-18, 5.07 left in the first half. Travis Johnston, none too thrilled on the sideline. You're still within, within shooting distance here. Jack Logston, spin move, free throw line, jumper to answer. It's no good, rebounded by Carmen for Breckenridge County. Another rebound for the junior, Braden Carmen. 29-18, four minutes and 45 seconds left here in this first half of play. And a walk is going to be called on Mercer Rogers up the far side of the floor. 29-18, 440 left in the first half. Whistle blown. Lance Poole will re-enter in place of Braxton Tall. And we got a police officer on the floor. Is there something on the floor that he sees? I don't know. Last time we had a police officer on the floor during a uh, Grace County basketball game that somebody was in a chokehold. Ah, memories. Tayden Logston drives down the right side, goes up. Basket good. Might have been fouled as well. Tayden gets the shot on the inside. It's a nine-point game. 29-20. 4-20 left in the first half. Trying to get some energy to this Grayson County bench. And this Grayson County team as a whole. Crossing it to Rogers. Deep left side three. It is an air ball. Rebound bouncing around into the hands of Gage Napier. Napier up the far side of the floor. An outlet pass to Langdon. Langdon on the drive. Spins Napier up top to Logston in the corner to Jack Logston. Three right side, no good. Rebound Napier. And then he is not found from behind. Regardless, the ball's going to stay here. Brockman enters for a break, as does Hardesty. Carmen and Spalding come out for the Tigers. 29-20, under four minutes left in the first half. Up top to Haycraft, right side Langdon. Langdon on the drive, lowers the shoulder, goes up with a shot, good for Spencer Langdon, his first points of the game. Seven point game now at 29-22. You're starting to see now some energy from Grayson County. The fans as well to our left, trying to bring some of it as well. Left wing Rogers on the 3-2 zone for Grayson County. They immediately put a hand in his face. Up top, deep three by Hardesty. It is short, rebounded by Spencer Langdon. 
Winding up the far side of the four. In between the circles, left side, Taden Longston, three. No good off to the right. Long rebound, chased down by Langdon in the near corner. Langdon up top. Lowers his shoulders, he curls around. Gives it off to Haycraft, deep on the left wing. 29-22, three minutes left in the first half of play. Tayden Longston on the drive. Jump pass into the corner, Napier three. No good, it doesn't drop. Rebound, Brockman for Breckenridge County. Off the pool, pull an outlet to Rogers on the left side. Back up top to pool, who's two of two from three. Inside pass, Tayden Longston is gonna be called for a foul on the inside. The Cougar faithful, none too thrilled with that call. For Tayden, that's his second. Team's second of the quarter. Travis Johnson has a decision to make if he's going to leave Tayden in the big game with two fouls or not. Now asking for an explanation. Pull three near side, short. Jack logs him with a rebound, but it's stripped by Miller, saved in bounds, and a foul is called on. They call that on Jonah Miller? They did. It's his first team's first. It's what we classify as the makeup call. 29 22, two and a half left in the first half. Tayden Longston in between the circles for Grayson County. Down the right side, handoff pass to Langdon. Up top to Jack, who has it at the volleyball line. Jack to Langdon on the left side. Langdon, jump pass to Napier. Napier back up top to Jack. Jack jabs to the right. Gets to the free throw line, goes up off the glass, not there, rebound by Rogers for the Tigers. Rogers quickly moving, down to Hardesty, layup blocked. No, they're gonna count the basket. They're gonna say that it's goaltending. So Chase Hardesty gets the basket in transition. That's close. That's where I wish that we had the, uh, the cameras mounted up there to really get the true replay of it. 31-22, Breck on top of Grayson, 145 left in the first half. Taden Logston, bounce pass up top to Jack Logston, deep one, top side, good! From Hardensburg, he puts it in. And it's a 10 points for Jack Logston, six point game now with 90 seconds left in the first half. Cougars now going into 1-2-2 zone. Trying to switch up their defenses against Breckenridge County. Napier is playing the top of it. Rogers, near side. Haycraft, hand in his face. Now it might morph back. No, it is, yeah, I'm not sure if it's 3-2 really or if it is a 1-2-2. Miller on the far side, crossing, caught by Hardesty. On the drive, Hardesty back to pool three, near corner, good. Lance Pool, 20% from three, he has three of them in the first half. Tate Longston on the drive, goes up, off balance, way off to the right, rebound by Pool. Not a great take there by Tate. He was looking for a foul and he didn't get it. Left side, Hardesty. Up top to Rogers. Rogers crosses it to Miller. Miller, bounce pass inside to Brockman. Brockman up top to Poole. Bobbles taken away by Haycraft. Run out for Landon Haycraft, but it's taken away by Rogers. Great play by Mercer Rogers in defense. Rogers up the near side. Goes up, the floater with the right hand. Well short, rebounded by Jack Logston. Logston throws it up to Langdon. Langdon wide open layup, good. Jack Longston to Spencer Langdon, looking like Colby Chaffins to Jaron Van Meter. 34-27, 10 minutes, 10 seconds rather left here in this first half of play. Fighting Tigers will hold for the final shot. Into the corner, wide open, Mercer Rogers three and an offensive foul is gonna be called on Brockman. No, no, they call a foul on Jack Longston rather. It's his first, team's third. I thought they called an illegal screen on Brockman. 1.7 on the clock. This will be a catch and shoot for Breck. Jonah Miller and Kobe Martin. Jonah Miller was shoving Kobe Martin. And Kobe Martin held both hands up to say, I'm innocent. They give it into Rogers. Catch and shoot three in the corner is no good. Brings us to the end of the first half. Grayson County 
Trails Breckenridge County, 34 to 27. This is Cougar Basketball on the Moose. Connection builds community. It grows the minds of future citizens and leaders. Connection teaches, it encourages, it builds confidence through relationships, through partnerships, through small daily acts, through high impact programs at all levels. Connection says together, we can. The one thing I know about Grayson County Schools, when you get the right people going in the right direction, anything's possible. We are GC Connected. Do you need help paying for college? Your first step is completing a FAFSA, free application for federal student aid. The 24-25 FAFSA will be available in late December 2023 and is more user-friendly. More students will be eligible for aid than ever before. Kia counselors and others are ready to help you. You're not in this alone. For more information, use the QR code or text money to 800-928-8926. Or you can visit... Connection builds community. It grows the minds of future citizens and lead... Welcome back to Breckenridge County High School, 34-27. Kooks trail the Tigers of Breckenridge County coming up on our halftime show, running right the scores from around the region. The scoring from this game and get you ready for the second half of play. Not a great first half, but Grayson definitely in striking distance. 34-27, more on the halftime show after this. This is Cougar basketball on the moose. Are you ready to help your family get prepared for the unexpected? Here we go! Ladybug and Cat Noir know how important it is to be ready because you never know when Hawk Moth is going to strike or a disaster will hit. And you don't need miraculous powers. Just put those planning skills you already have to good use. Make a plan that will help you and your family be ready when emergencies happen. Ready Kids can help. Get started at ready.gov slash kids. The doctor said I had a 29% chance to find a blood stem cell donor. But I knew you were out there. And when we matched, it was the best day ever. Dear donor, your blood stem cells saved me from leukemia. Thank you for ever and ever and ever. Experience the true joy of saving a life at BeTheMatch.org. We had an MRI, and then all of a sudden this doctor comes in and he says to us, uh, we have the potential here for a catastrophic event. And he looked scared. He looked terrified. And he's like, we got to operate now. It just all changed. Life changed. Bryce is one of the 47 children per day who are diagnosed with cancer. Today's treatments aren't enough. To watch the rest of Bryce's story, visit childrenscancer.org slash story. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Welcome back to Breckenridge County High School where Grayson trails Breck 34-27 at the half. Right out some scores from around the region. The most important score to bring you though. Lady Cougars won earlier today here at Breck County High School against Nelson County, 61 to 40. That's not one, that's not one, that's not two, that's not three. That's nine straight for the Lady Cougars. I'm about to, I'm about to need a third hand to, to start counting those. Biggest one though on Monday for them as they take on Butler County. I mean, after that, then they will travel to Muhlenberg County on Tuesday. Apollo at home, Warren Central at home. Yeah, there's some tough games in there, but hey, this time of year, all of them are tough. Some scores to bring you from around the region. As honestly, not a whole lot. I know earlier today it was Owensboro Catholic and girls. They defeated Louisville Central by about 20 points. North Harden and girls lost to Bowling Green by three in double overtime to start off the day. And honestly, that's really not a, a whole lot of the scores to bring you. College basketball score, if you're watching, if you are Recording the Kentucky game, and you don't want a spoiler update, just mute me for about 15 seconds because I'm getting ready to give that score. Okay, I've given you time to do that. Kentucky trails Gonzaga 48, or 50 to 45 now with 15 and a half left in the second half. Grayson trails this one, 34-27, second half, and the scoring from the first half is next here on the Moose. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Ashley Gabbard, internal medicine physician with Owensboro Health. I'd like to talk with women 40 and over about having annual mammograms, even if there is no history of breast cancer in your family. Early detection provides women a strong advantage in fighting breast cancer. Ask your primary care provider for a referral and schedule your screening online at owensborohealth.org slash mammogram. Some days are just better than others. I think you should go talk to someone. It's not that easy. Have you been thinking about suicide? You can talk to me, Dad. It's been a tough couple of months. For the more than one million people living with Parkinson's disease, the Parkinson's Foundation celebrates movement at Moving Day. A movement toward life-saving resources. Movement toward advancing research and care. Movement toward a better life. We care. We fight. We move to beat Parkinson's. Move with us at Moving Day Walk. Connection builds community. It grows the minds of future citizens and leaders. Connection teaches. It encourages. It builds confidence through relationships, through partnerships, through small daily acts, through high impact programs at all levels. Connection says together we can. The one thing I know about Grayson County Schools, when you get the right people going in the right direction, anything's possible. We are GC Connected. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. The scoring from the first half, really quick for Breck. 11 for Lance Poole, 10 for Braden Carmen, 4 for Jonah Miller, and for Chase Hardesty, 3 for Mercer Rogers, and 2 for Hayden Brockman. For Grayson County, 10 Jack Longston, 5 Tayden Longston, 4 Spencer Langdon, 3 Robinson, 3 Haycraft, 2 Martin. Second half, Grayson and Breck is next, 34-27. Cooks trail. It's Cougar basketball on the moose. No matter what you're up against, we have your back. We, we are, are United, United Way. Way. We, we are, are neighbors, neighbors helping neighbors. neighbors. In communities around the world, when disaster strikes, we get you back on your feet. We help children build brighter futures. We've been here for over 135 years. But now, our work is more important than ever. Join, Join us. Join, Join your neighbors. neighbors. Join United, United Way. Way. Are you looking for the best building materials in Litchfield? Look no further than Future Designs Building Materials. The builder's choice on Quarry Road has everything you need to build your dream home. Jim writes, I'm so glad I came to Future Designs for my new roof. The staff was so helpful and knowledgeable, and they made sure I got the right materials for my needs. Thanks, Jim. Future Designs is more than just a building materials store. Future Designs Building Materials on Quarry Road in Litchfield. FDBM.net. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. 34-27 as we get ready to start the second half of play. Breck has the lead. Will be Breck Bull to start this half of play. The Fighting Tigers only came out on the floor about 30 seconds ago. They did not get really any warm-ups at all. You know, Cougars were only out on the floor probably about two minutes ago, so they really didn't get many warm-ups either. Does that mean anything? I don't know. We'll find out early. Tigers have it left to right on the radio dial. Cougars going with their starting lineup to start the second half of play, sticking with the zone defense against the Tigers, who have knocked down some threes. Poole in the corner. He'll let the three fly. It's good. Lance Poole has four threes in the game. He shoots 20% from three on the season entering this game. Basketball. It's really all you can say. Haycraft in the far side, feeds it to Jack Logston in the post, and he loses it out of bounds off of Breck. I think I did see the, that signal point, and it is going to be Grayson County basketball. Martin to trigger, foul called on Miller. For Miller, that is going to be his first. 
a correction, his second team's first of this quarter of play. Lance Poole on the season in 21 games, nine threes. Today, four threes. Martin into the far corner to Langdon. Langdon jab step up top. Napier swings it off left side to Haycraft. With the right hand, Landon Haycraft backs it back out front. Ten point Breck, Breck County lead. Haycraft on the inside, not a good decision. It goes right into the hands of Braden Carmen, who's going to get one of his easiest steals of the season. Right up the middle, Mercer Rogers running things in between the circles for Breckenridge County. It's a 10 point Fighting Tiger lead. Cougars struggled to start the game. We're looking for a bump. Travis Johnson took a timeout, and his exact words were, How can I motivate you? And they play better from that point on. Deep on the left side, Hardesty. Back up top to Rogers. Breck really slowing the pace over these last couple of minutes. Cougars want to run. Breck more than fine with working in the half court. Tall floater is missed. Rebound out of bounds off of Grayson County. Very late to give a signal. I think he yelled. Again, officials, please point. Don't yell. In the corner, pull. Another one. It is, he is human, rebounded by Carmen, and they're going to call a foul on Haycraft for going underneath of him. Hard fall for Carmen, and he is slow to get up. Let's see who they call this on, and now they're going to call Jeff LaGrange to come and check, and because of that, I believe he has to leave the game because Jeff LaGrange has come onto the floor. I think they're going to call this on Haycraft. They are. His first. Team's first. Carmen does have to leave the game. Appears that he's okay. It just looks like it was one of those really hard falls. Up top to Tall. Guarded by Martin. 37-27. Tall passing into the near corner. Jab step for Hardesty. He'll back it back out top. 37-27. Grayson County trails Breck. 6-10 left in the third quarter. Free throw line extended. Jumper is good by Braxton Tall. Cougars still yet to score in this third quarter of play. He needs somebody to step up with Brody Armstrong out in the game. Jack Logston on the drive. Bumped, spins, fade away, short. Long rebound chased down by Langdon. Let's the defender go by. Into the corner to Napier. He'll let the three fly. It is a little bit too strong. Pool with the rebounds. Pool up the far side of the floor. Outlet, far corner, Rogers. Rogers on the drive. Jump pass to a cutting hardesty. Basket is good, and he'll go to the line. Spencer Langdon, his first foul. Team second, Tate Logston immediately going to come in. Be interesting to see how close Travis Johnston will go to taking a timeout here in this game. And it's no good by Hardesty. Rebounded by Jack Logston for Grayson County. Cougs down by 14, 41 27. 528 left in the third quarter. Grayson County has not won three straight games yet this season. If Grayson County wants to do some of the goals that they have, three straight wins are going to be something they're going to have to find out a way to do. Langdon splits defenders as he drives downhill on the right side, gets the layup to go. He's got six points. It's 41-29. I mean, you look at it. You know, Grayson County needs to win three straight to win the region. Down the right side, Poole's basket is good. Lance Poole averages 9.2 points a game. He's having one hell of a ball game today. Bounce pass on the inside. Foul is called on Breckenridge County. It's called on Kobe. It's or Kobe Martin, rather, is going to go to the line. Lance Poole picks up his second foul. Kobe Martin to the line to shoot two. He's two of two today. Today. First one good by Kobe Martin. I mean, Grayson, it's got to start at the defensive end. It's where somebody, you know, come up with a big rebound, big steal, knock the ball away, something good to happen. Martin misses that second, makes it a 13-point game, 43-30, 4.50 left in the third quarter. Rodgers, bounce pass on the inside to Brockman, offensive foul. Tate Longston takes the charge. Brockman picks up his first. 
And that is one of those moments. Block shot, taking a charge that can spark a team. Let's see if it does. But you gotta get a bucket to keep that charge. Caden Logston feeds it off far corner to Martin. Swings it off now into the corner to Langdon. Thought about pulling up the three up top to, to Napier into Jack Logston. Jack on the drive at the right block. Trying to find help, defender goes by and he's fouled. He was fouled about four times before the whistle was finally blown. They'll give it to Lance Poole, his third, team's third. Official, the PA announcer says second. I bet it's his third. Now again, I'm the furthest thing from official. Jack to the line to shoot two, good. Devin Spalding re-enters, Lance Poole gonna come out. Another free throw coming for Jack Logston, one of the state's best free throw shooters. Good. 12 for Jack Logston, 4-4 from the free throw line. 43-32, Breck on top of Grayson. Four minutes, 25 seconds left in the third quarter. Rogers up the far side of the floor, weaving through, gets to the hole, blocked by Logston. No, a foul is gonna be called. Tough call, Tayden picks up his third. Team's third of the quarter. Mercer Rogers will shoot two. First one, good for him. He's only a 61% free throw shooter. Rogers preseason rated as the 10th best player in the region by the Courier Journal. And he gets both of those free throws to fall for the Tigers. 45-32, Breck on top of Grayson. 4-18 left in the third quarter. Cougars again without third leading scorer Brody Armstrong today. Far side Langdon, three, got it! Langdon's first three in the ball game. 10 point game now. Defense now coming out in one 2, two zone. Brockman swings it off the left wing to Rogers. A deep three to answer, good. That is a big shot by Mercer Rogers. Tayden Longston at the free throw line. He'll drive in, get to the hole, throws the shot up. It's no good, looking for a foul, it's not there. Travis Johnston is beside himself on the sideline. Inside pass deflected, taken away by Grayson County. Cougs off and running. Jack Longston drives in, lay up, no good, blocked by the rim. Tayden longston has got the rebound, he goes up, and now players are gonna hit the deck. And they're gonna have to start calling some fouls because this game is gonna get out of control in a hurry. Brockman is called, that's his second. These are two teams you can't, quote unquote, let them play. Because it is two, it's a rivalry game. These are two, you know, Breck is a physical team. And you're going to have to start calling fouls. There's just no other way to put it than that. That is the fifth team foul, though. So that will be two free throws coming for Grayson. And it'll be Tayden Longston to shoot them 71.1%. So one thing with officials, it's important. And again, I'm not saying that they're missing calls. I'm just saying that when, when games are physical against physical teams, you're going to have to start calling that because when you have emotions coming, that's when you're going to start having technicals or, or things that you don't want to see happen. Tayden goes one to two from the line, makes the second. 48-36, it's an eight point. Breckenridge County lead, Cougars trying to chip back. They've trailed by as much as 14. Mercer Rogers up the far side of the floor. Bounce pass on the inside. It's the 12 point Breck County lead. 48-36, 3-10 left in the third quarter. Miller on the left side, crossing it. Wide open three by Spalding. In and outs, rebound. Langdon's got it for Grayson County. Langdon off to Jack Logston, he walks with it on the left side, and he did. Three oh two left in the third quarter, 48-36. Miller up the far side. Bounce pass into the middle to Rogers. Rogers, little Euro step, the floater, good. This game feels very similar to some of the games Grace County's played this year. Meade County, Bullet Central, where the other team is just unconscious from the field. Three top side by Tayden Logston. It's missed. Rebounded by Breckenridge County. And they nearly throw it away, and he does. Yeah. 
Mercer Rogers trying to plead his case to the official. They're going to talk it over. I think the other official is going to say, I can't overrule you. You were a lot closer. And he does. Grayson County has it. Jeff Grange was upset about, about something. I'm not entirely sure as to what, but we're back. 50 to 36, Breck on top by 14. Spencer Langdon on the drive, amongst the trees, goes up, basket pops in and out, rebound. Kobe Martin had it, lost it, loose ball. Tayden Longston has it, and then he's fouled. Braden Carmen picks up his second foul. Two shots will come. Is it Tayden shooting or is it Kobe shooting? It's Kobe. Tayden Longson saying it was me, and I, I think it was. And now the official is going to talk to Kobe Martin. It's a little slow to get up. Kobe says, I'm good. Not a lot of flow to this game now. Martin, three of four from the line today. First one, no good. Breck has Spalding standing all alone in that corner. They are able to bring some pressure to him. Martin gets the second one to drop. 50 to 37, Breck on top. Miller up the far side of the floor to Rogers. Back to Miller. Miller crosses the line on the inside to Carmen. Off to pool, layup, good. Press break to perfection for Breck. 15-point game. That's their largest lead of the game, 52-37. Jack logs in between the circles. Up top to Spencer Langdon. At the logo, Cougars trying to find an answer. Spencer Langdon loses his dribble, loses it again. Jump ball. And the arrow will stay here. And they're going to change it, and they're going to say we're going to pass it in underneath the basket. Be Rogers to trigger. Into the corner, Langdon. Up top to Jack Logston. Cougars have it. They trail by 15, 140 left in the third quarter. Spencer Langdon gets a screen from Jack Logston. Back to Jack. Bobbles the pass, gains it back on the left side. He'll pull up a left side three. Good. Timeout on the floor taken. Here by Grayson County, we will take it with them. This is Cougar Basketball on the Moose. No matter what you're up against, we have your back. We, we are, are United, United Way. Way. We, we are, are neighbors, neighbors helping neighbors. neighbors. In communities around the world, when disaster strikes, we get you back on your feet. We help children build brighter futures. We've been here for over 135 years. But now, our work is more important than ever. Join us. Join, Join your neighbors. neighbors. Join United, United Way. 52-40. Grayson County trails Breckenridge County. Jack Logston just hits the three there. He's got 15 points. 134 left here in the ball game. Remember to stay tuned in and join us for our post-game show. We'll talk to head coach Travis Johnston. Run down the scoring from this game and the scores from around the region as the Bartstown Bethlehem fans are starting to fill in and pack us in around us. In and we're back underway. Miller up the far side of the floor, spins around, guarded by Martin. Miller up the far side, bounce pass left wing to Spalding. On the inside to Carmen. Carmen loses the ball, somehow finds Poole at the free throw line. Poole into the corner to Rogers. On the inside to Carmen over Robinson. Carmen scores for the first time in the second half. He's got 12, though. And the Breck lead is back to 14 at 54-40. One minute left in the third quarter. Jack Logston gets a screen. And the ball's knocked out of bounds. And it's going to stay here. Lance Poole appears to be saying he got hit in the face. And... And is maybe got a bloody nose? If not, it might feel like it. He's gone 
find himself back on the bench. Braxton Tall will come in for him. Jack Logston gives it into Spencer Langdon. 53 seconds and counting left here in this third quarter of play. Langdon at the left wing, back up top to Jack Logston. Good defense by Breck here in this game. Jack behind the back, step back, 18 feet. Good for Jack Logston. On the right side, it's a 12-point game. If you're Grayson and you can bring this to within 10, then that's a win. Mercer Rogers nearly lost the ball. Finds Miller, though. Driving in is tall, in on Logston. Good defense by Jack, and a foul on the rebound is called on Tayden Logston. Tayden Logston picks up his fourth. He's immediately just going to go sit on the bench. Gage Napier coming in. He did not agree at all with that call. Mercer Rogers will trigger with 30 seconds left here in this third quarter. Miller, three off the inbounds, good. First three of the game. Tigers feeling it from three in this one. They lead by 15, 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Langdon on the drive, he's stripped, and it's taken away by the Tigers, but it's a foul. Foul called on Brexton Tall, his first. Two shots coming for Spencer Langdon. Spencer's got nine in the game. He'll have two coming. First one is no good. It's biggest thing is it's just concentration for Spencer. Something he's, he's got to be better than. He's a good shooter. And probably somebody misses both free throws. And that's just like, Spence, that's going to be one thing he's really going to have to get better at over these next couple of years because he has the opportunity to be a really good free throw shooter. Ball's knocking around at half-court line, and it's going to go towards Grayson. Cougars will have it underneath their own basket with 8.1 on the clock. 57-42 into Langdon in the far corner. Langdon on the drive with four seconds. With three seconds, Robinson back to Langdon with two seconds. Grace County's got to get a shot off. Langdon throws it up at the buzzer, and it is short. The end of the third quarter of play, Breck County leads Grayson 57-42. Scooter basketball on the moose. For the more than one million people living with Parkinson's disease, the Parkinson's Foundation celebrates movement at Moving Day, a movement toward life-saving resources, movement toward advancing research and care, movement toward a better life. We care. We fight. We move to beat Parkinson's. Move with us at movingdaywalk.org. Do you need help paying for college? Your first step is completing a FAFSA, free application for federal student aid. The 24-25 FAFSA will be available in late December 2023 and is more user-friendly. More students will be eligible for aid than ever before. Kia counselors and others are ready to help you. You're not in this alone. For more information, use the QR code or text money to 800-928-8926. Or you can visit gearupky.org slash money. Grayson trails 57-42 as we start the fourth quarter of play. Luckily, Dr. Bryce Meredith is throwing the t-shirts right now, and I trust him a little bit more to not pelt me in the face in the girls' game. It, it, it got a little dangerous, a little hairy at times. Breck will start with the ball, and they lead by 15 here in this second half of play. This is where Cougars is. There's a backdoor cut, layup, good by Braden Carmen. Cougars have just not looked good today. And it's two straight games now where they have not looked good. Yes, you're without Brody Armstrong, but in a lot of realms, you got to find ways to win. That's what good teams do. Jack Logston in the lane. He's fouled. This is the shot. Free throws will come for Jack. Braxton Tall picks up his second, team's first. Jack's got 17 in the game. He'll have two more coming. And he gets the roll on the first one to go to 18 points. Jonah Miller re-enters for Breck. And Jack gets both free throws to roll in. 
Grayson County trails in this game against Breckenridge County. Up the far side goes Hardesty. Bounce pass to Poole on the right block. Poole shot over, over is long. Rebounded by Jack for Grayson. Logs up the near side of the floor. Thought about pulling up for the three. Clears it off to the right side to Haycraft, to Langdon. Into the corner, Robinson pass deflected, taken away by Poole. Poole up the near side, then walks with it as he crosses the half-court line. Fifty-nine forty-four, seven twelve left in the game. Haycraft on the right wing. Into the corner to Robinson. Robinson bounce pass to Langdon. Up top to Jack. Jack on the drive, lowers his shoulder, gets the hole, shots missed. Two free throws coming for Jack Logston. Jonah Miller picks up his third, team second. First one good by Jack. Jeff LaGrange now letting his team have it on the bench about fouling. Good. Jack gets the second. He's up to 21 now in the game. 59-46, 7-0-1 left in the fourth quarter. Cougars without Brody Armstrong, just a different team. Mercer Rogers into the corner to Poole. Poole's got four threes in the game. He entered the game with nine on the season. Lowering the shoulder, Miller, flip shot, good. Just got right to the hole, way too easy. 15-point game, 61-46. Langdon to the right side to Jack Logson. Thought about pulling up the three. Pulls up from the free throw line. It is short, rebound, bouncing around, and it goes into the hands of Breck. Up the far side goes Rogers. He angles back towards the near side, and is he tripped? I believe that is the call. Trip by Haycraft is the call. His second, team's first. Rodgers to pass in. He'll loop it up front to Miller. Miller with the left hand, hand off to Poole. Poole on the inside, bobble to Carmen, loose ball. They're going to call jump ball, and the arrow is in favor of Grayson. 61-46, Breck on top of Grayson County. 6-18 left in the fourth quarter. And a timeout will be taken. It'll be a full timeout. We'll take it with them. It's Cougar basketball right here on the Moose as the Cougars trail 61-46. This is Cougar basketball on the Moose. The doctor said I had a 29% chance to find a blood stem cell donor. But I knew you were out there. And when we matched, it was the best day ever. Dear donor, your blood stem cells saved me from leukemia. Thank you forever and ever and ever. Experience the true joy of saving a life at BeTheMatch.org. Grayson County drills Breckenridge County 61 to 46. Here with six minutes and 18 seconds left in this basketball game here from good old Hornet, Kentucky. Cougars and Lady Cougars back in action on Monday. They will host Butler County at home. Six o'clock will be the coverage of that game beginning. Then on Tuesday, Lady Cougars will be at Muhlenberg County. Cougar boys will host John Harden. We'll be here as they host the Bulldogs. Cougar ball out of the timeout. 61-46, 6-13 left here in the fourth quarter of play. Langdon off to the right side to Logston into the far corner to Haycraft. He'll let the three fly. It's too strong. Rebound. Bonnock is into the game for Grayson County. He almost got the rebound as is Zach Bratcher. Rogers bounce pass in. Transition. The basket good by Chase Hardesty down that left side. And it's a 17-point game. Spinning around, Zach Bratcher, deep three, right side. Good! Zach Bratcher puts in the three. Might be the spark off the bench that Grayson County needed. Try and complete what would need to be a pretty massive comeback. Up top, Miller. Runs into Chase Bonnock. No whistle. They give it off to Bratcher down inside. Bratcher misses the layup. My goodness, Chase Bonnock. <laughs> he 
if he's not a linebacker, I don't really know what happened as Jonah Miller drives in. I, I, <laughs> I don't know, that was a foul on either, either side. We have a foul called on Haycraft now on the inside. Two shots coming for Jonah Miller. Chase Bonnock, all five foot six of him. That's what he's listed on the roster. That's probably being generous. He just went at six foot two, Jonah Miller, who's probably taller than six foot two. And Chase won. <laughs> Miller will shoot two free throws, 73%. First one good. Second chance good by Miller. 65-49, Grayson County. Trails Breck, 524 left in the ball game. Langdon, three left side, short, rebound, bouncing around. He's going to get his own miss, does Langdon. He'll let it fly again, and it's blocked by Rogers. This time the rebound goes into the hands of Carmen. Up to Rogers. Rogers across the near side of the floor, 65-49, 5.07 to go. Rogers into the corner to pool. Three is an air ball. Rebounded by Carmen, though. He'll go back up. Blocked by Jack Longston. Rebounded by Haycraft. Haycraft up the far side of the floor. He spins. He hands off to Bonnock. Bonnock up top to Bratcher. Bratcher will drive. He fakes the kick. Now he will give the kick to Langdon. Langdon back to Bratcher. Three left side. It is no good. Rebound. It's rolling around. And jump ball is going to be the call. And... The arrow is Grayson. It's Breckenridge County's ball, they say. The score, official scorebook says. Miller with the ball up the far side. And they're going to call a bump on Bratcher. See, I hate that call more because what happens on that, unless the Grayson County players do it too, is... He runs in front of the defender who's trailing him. The defender's going to run into him. And I just hate that that's a call. Foul was called on Bradshaw. It's just his first. Interior pass. Spinning around. Basket good by Carmen on the inside. Carmen's got 16 in the game. Breck up by 18. Into the corner to Bratcher. Off to Langdon on the left side. Langdon in the corner. Guarded by Poole. Trying to find help, finds it up top to Bratcher. Bratcher into Jack Logston. Jack, jump pass, or actually it's a fadeaway shot. It's missed, rebound out of bounds off of Bonnock. And the rebound will head towards Breckenridge County. Gage Napier gonna come in. Jack Logston will come out. And I've seen Travis Johnson do this. It wouldn't shock me if that's all we've seen of Jack. That's the last we've seen of Jack Logston today. Cougars down by 18. They have a very important game on Monday against Butler County. I don't know what they might do. Cougars need to get healthy, though. Foul on the far side called on Zach Bratcher. It's his second, team's third. Aiden Brockman re-enters for Breck. Coming out will be Carmen. 4.07 left in the game, 67-49. Grayson County trails Breckenridge County. Giving in to Poole on the right side. Goes around Langdon. Poole lowers the shoulder, gets the hole. Too strong in the layup. Rebound Breck. Put back good by Mercer Rogers on the inside. Tigers have shot the ball incredibly well today. Up top, a deep three by Zach Bratcher. Good. Very deep from Zach Bratcher, nearly from Falls Rough. Coming down. Up top goes Mercer Rogers. 69-52, 3.35 to go. Inside Brockman, too strong, rebounded by Haycraft. Haycraft up the far side to Langdon. Langdon behind the back dribble at the volleyball line. Langdon on the drive, the kick to Bratcher, and it's knocked out of bounds, and it's going to stay here. 59, or 69-52, 3.25 left to the fourth quarter. There's one more game happening here at Breck here this afternoon. Made between Bethlehem and the Lady Tigers. We will not have coverage of that. Zach Bratcher, three right side. The bank is open for Zach Bratcher. He's got three threes. Nine points for Zach. 69-55. And a shove is going to be called on Chase Bonnock in the back in the back field, in the backcourt. His first. Team's fourth. No, actually, it's the fifth. 
The foul shots will come for Breck. We'll see who this foul will go towards. And the shots. Hardesty is the player stepping to the line. He's 78%. Hardesty, 420 ERA for the Brickenridge County baseball team last season. Heck, we're, we're right about that time where baseball season is about to start rolling. Hardesty gets the first free throw. Both of them good for Chase Hardesty. 71-55, Breck on top of Grayson. 3-10 left in the fourth quarter. Right up the middle goes Langdon in between the circles. He'll let the three fly from the volleyball line. It's off the back of the iron. Rebound on the floor. It is finally in the hands of Brockman for Breck. Up the far side, Zach Bratcher is going to pick up a foul. That'll be his third. And I think Hardesty will go right back to the line to shoot two. Hardesty to shoot two. He just went two of two just a couple of seconds ago. And gets the first one in there. Cougars are going to fall to 13 and 10 on the season. Big one on Monday, though, against Butler County. Second good. And just a 30-second timeout taken by Breckenridge County with 2.58 left here in this ball game. Breck well in control of this 73-255. We'll try to run down a score or two from around the region as we look. Lady Cougars won earlier today, 61-40 to against Nelson County. Uh, boys score at the end of the first half. Warren Central leads Paducah Tillman, 33-30. to I believe that game's happening in Paducah today. And that is really most of the other scores to bring you. Breck girls are about to take on Bethlehem here in a game that will follow ours. You might be able to see a little bit of that in our coverage as we wrap up in our post-game show. 73-55 is the Breckenridge County lead. And out of the timeout, Travis Johnson's got Jaden Pierce in the game. Gage Napier also re-enters. Appears the day is done for Spencer Langdon and for Jack Logston. You got Haycraft, Napier, Pierce, Bratcher, and Bonock on the floor. Bonock on the left wing. Up top to Bratcher. Ball fake. Bratcher on the drive. Bounce pass to Pierce. Into the corner to Bonock. He'll let the three fly. Too strong. Rebounded by Carmen on the floor for Breckenridge County. What is it to play out these last couple of minutes? Cougars have the big one on Monday. 13 and 10 record will be what it'll be tallied at right now. Rogers into the corner to Miller. Little ball fake, crossing it off now to Hardesty. Right side Miller, 2-10 to go here in the ball game. 73-55. Ball deflected out of bounds, headed towards Grayson. Left in this game, 73-55, Breck on top of Grayson. Far corner, Bratcher lets the defender go by. Three is up, three is good for Zach Bratcher, a new career high. For Bratcher, he has four threes in this fourth quarter. He's going to tell Travis Johnson, you got to play me a little bit more because I, I can shoot. 15-point game, under two minutes left. The dogs have been called, though, for the Cougars. Travis Johnson wants to get this young lineup some moments. Bratcher's going to be called for a foul on the inside, gambling for a pass. Bratcher's fourth. Two shots will come for Braden Carmen. 45.7% on the year for him. Breck, this is their last home game. They'll travel to Catholic next week at McLean, at Whitesville, at Edmondson. It's a tough little swing for them. All four of those on the road. Wait, am I allowed to say it's on the road at Owensboro Catholic since it's at the Sports Center, or is that neutral site? Sorry. 
Breck, I know you are in. If we have Breck fans watching, you are in agreement with me. Anti Sports Center here. Second free throw missed. Rebounded by Napier. 74 58. Grayson County trails Breck. About a minute and a half left to go in the game. Into the corner, Bratcher. Three to let another one fly. It's in and out. Rebounded by Hardesty. He's off and running. Hardesty stripped by Haycraft on the way up. Good defense by Lane and Haycraft in transition. He speeds up to knock the ball out of bounds. Into the corner, pool three near side, too strong. Rebounded by Zach Bratcher for Grayson County. Bratcher's played well here in this fourth quarter. He's putting his name in the stat sheet in many ways. Haycraft on the drive, up top to Bonnock. Off to the right side, Napier. He'll let the three fly. It's off the back side. Rebound. Bonnock almost had it. Miller took it, took it away, though. It's one thing about Chase Bonnock. You know, he might be five foot nothing. He's not scared. Starting shortstop for the baseball team. He might be the smallest shortstop in the state of Kentucky, but I wouldn't want another one because he, I mean, he does a good job. Three far side by Poole is missed. Rebound, Carmen. He'll go back up. He's fouled. Shot's no good, but two shots coming. Jeff LaGrange, I thought he was working the ref, but instead he's working Mercer Rogers and Chase Hardesty. Carmen will shoot two. Bryson Lambert will check in for Grayson County, probably in place of either Gage or Lando. It is in place of Lando. And Breckenridge County now will bring in their backups as well. Ladarian Parker is in. Jake Bratcher is in for Grayson County. You've also got number 20, Todd Galloway. And also Devin Spaulding re-entering. Todd Galloway in, and Benjamin Grimes in for Breck County. 75-58 is the Breck County lead. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter of play. Bratcher on the left side, up top to Pierce. He'll let the three fly, top side. Off the back of the iron, rebounded by Parker with 34 seconds and counting. Parker down the near side of the floor. Bounce pass on the interior. Ripped away by Bonnock. Picked up on the inside by Galloway. Into the corner, Tall just throws it off at Jake Bratcher. 23 seconds and counting left here in this game. It's 75-58. They pass in, somehow finds Grimes, who then loses it out of bounds, and Grayson County ball. 75-58, Breck County, 20 seconds left here in this game. See if they'll run a little play. Ball knock off to Pierce on the left wing. Up top, Zach Bratcher from the volleyball line. It's off the left, rebound by Jaden Pierce. Put back good for Jaden Pierce on the inside. Nice look, and that will do it. Breckenridge County defeats Grayson County by a final score of 75 to 60. Scooter basketball on the moose. Hi, my name is Tara Mosley Hyde and I'm the CEO of People Advocating Recovery. And I am also a person in long-term recovery. And when I first started my recovery journey, it wasn't always easy for me to access resources. So now you can call today at 833-8KY-HELP and get access to treatment and other options and other resources. Call today, there is no judgment and no shame to look for help. Are you looking for the best building materials in Litchfield? Look no further than Future Designs Building Materials. The builder's choice on Quarry Road has everything you need to build your dream home. Jim writes, I'm so glad I came to Future Designs for my new roof. The staff was so helpful and knowledgeable, and they made sure I got the right materials for my needs. Thanks, Jim. Future Designs is more than just a building materials store. Future Designs Building Materials on Quarry Road in Litchfield. FDBM.net. is Cougar Basketball on K105. Cougars fall today in Harned by a final score of 75 to 70. 
Coming up, we'll jump into the fifth quarter show, run down some scores from around the region, and talk to the head coach of the Cougars, Travis Johnston. Again, your final score, Breck defeats Grayson, 75-60. to It's Cougar basketball on the moose. Are you looking for the best building materials in Litchfield? Look no further than Future Designs Building Materials. The builder's choice on Quarry Road has everything you need to build your dream home. Jim writes, I'm so glad I came to Future Designs for my new roof. The staff was so helpful and knowledgeable, and they made sure I got the right materials for my needs. Thanks, Jim. Future Designs is more than just a building materials store. Future Designs Building Materials on Quarry Road in Litchfield. FDBM.net. We had an MRI, and then all of a sudden this doctor comes in and he says to us, uh, we have the potential here for a catastrophic event. And he looked scared. He looked terrified. And he's like, we gotta operate now. It just all changed. Life changed. Bryce is one of the 47 children per day who are diagnosed with cancer. Today's treatments aren't enough. To watch the rest of Bryce's story, visit childrenscancer.org slash story. The doctor said I had a 29% chance to find a blood stem cell donor. But I knew you were out there. And when we matched, it was the best day ever. Dear donor, your blood stem cells saved me from leukemia. Thank you forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Experience the true joy of saving a life at BeTheMatch.org. Look around your home, and there's probably something that was made right here in Litchfield. Leggett & Plant is a worldwide corporation making a wide range of products, including sofa sleeper and reclining hardware assemblies here at home. A portion of your Ashley, Lazy Boy, or England furniture might have been made by one of your neighbors. Join the Leggett & Platt team today. We are a one-shift operation with competitive wages. Our motto is, we work hard so you can rest easy. Leggett & Platt is an equal opportunity, affirmative action, veteran and disability employer. Do you need help paying for college? Your first step is completing a FAFSA, free application for federal student aid. The 24-25 FAFSA will be available in late December 2023 and is more user-friendly. More students will be eligible for aid than ever before. Kia counselors and others are ready to help you. You're not in this alone. For more information, use the QR code or text money to 800-928-8926. Or you can visit gearupky.org slash money. Here's a simple truth about higher education. If pursuing your purpose, doing what you really care about matters. If having a rewarding career matters. If a better financial future for you and your family matters. Then higher education matters. A brighter future is within your reach. Find out how at kyhigheredmatters.org. Brought to you by this station and the Kentucky Broadcasters Association. Cougars fall today against Breckenridge County by a final score of 75 to 60. This is a tough one. There's no other way to put it than that. It's, it's a game that probably isn't going to set well with Travis Johnston. But I think it's also leading the Cougars to believe they need Brody Armstrong. They need him back and healthy. If anything else, he is just an X factor to bring a spark of energy. And that is something, either that or somebody's going to have to step up. And I don't know when Brody will be back. I, and I, I think Travis Johnson's still wondering some things. But if they don't have him on Monday, Tuesday, somebody else going to have to step up and, and, and play. There's no other way to put it than that. And I think this is going to be one that uh, hopefully forced the Cougars to grow up a little bit. Be kind of a wake-up call that you might need as you move on later in this season. Because here, it doesn't get any easier. I mean, Monday, Butler County, you know, John Harden, you look at the record, they're playing with a sense of courage and pride probably for their school to play for their late coach. Then at Greenwood, at Davis County, home against Hancock, it does not get any easier for this Grayson County team. And that's by no means me calling Breck an easy team. I mean, heck, they'll probably be voted Sixth or seventh, maybe in the in the third region media poll coming up that'll be released early next week. I know I've been sitting here thinking about how I'll vote them, and I'm sure our good friend from 104.3 The River is thinking the same thing. Lee Bramlett is thinking the same thing about how he'll vote 
with this as well. Gracie County falls to Breckenridge County 75 to 60. Coming up on our fifth quarter show. We'll run down the scores for around the region, the scoring from this game, and get you ready for the second half of play. Again, your final score, 75-60. Breckenridge County defeats Grayson. Scooter basketball on the moose. Here's a simple truth about higher education. If pursuing your purpose, doing what you really care about matters. If having a rewarding career matters. If a better financial future for you and your family matters. Then higher education matters. A brighter future is within your reach. Find out how at kyhigheredmatters.org. Brought to you by this station and the Kentucky Broadcasters Association. Connection builds community. It grows the minds of future citizens and leaders. Connection teaches. It encourages. It builds confidence through relationships, through partnerships, through small daily acts, through high impact programs at all levels. Connection says together we can. The one thing I know about Grayson County Schools, when you get the right people going in the right direction, anything's possible. We are GC Connected. We had an MRI and then all of a sudden this doctor comes in and he says to us, uh, we have the potential here for a catastrophic event. And he looks scared. He looked terrified. And he's like, we gotta operate now. It just all changed. Life changed. Bryce is one of the 47 children per day who are diagnosed with cancer. Today's treatments aren't enough. To watch the rest of Bryce's story, visit childrenscancer.org slash story. Do you need help paying for college? Your first step is completing a FAFSA, free application for federal student aid. The 24-25 FAFSA will be available in late December 2023 and is more user-friendly. More students will be eligible for aid than ever before. Kia counselors and others are ready to help you. You're not in this alone. For more information, use the QR code or text money. To this is Cougar Basketball on K105. Cougars fall tonight to Breckenridge County by the final score of 75 to 60. Running out a quick score or two from around the region as we do the scroll through here. Lady Cougars won earlier today against Nelson County, 61 to 40. And let's see what else we can't find as I do it. Uh, Paducah Tillman trails Warren Central, 42 to 32 with 440 left in the third quarter of play there. And honestly, that appears to be most of the scores from around the region as I do a scroll through. Breck County, Breck County girls are about to tip off against Bethlehem. That game will be started here in four minutes and 22 seconds. I can tell you that almost exactly is. It's the one pro to this. What we do have to look out for is he might turn the lights off on us if Coach Johnson comes out to do our interview. They've been doing that for the lineups, but ironically enough, they didn't in the last game when their home team was here. Lady Cougars, though, that win was their ninth straight win. They're playing extremely good basketball. And I know that, uh, you know, I see a tweet here coming in. Says that Coach Mack should be in the running for Coach of the Year in the region. And you know what? I know this is something that we're discussing potentially with our third region media poll is to start a third region media poll Coach of the Year. And I don't know that he wouldn't be my vote for third region girls basketball Coach of the Year. They're playing extremely good basketball. And I, I was trying to think on who I would for boys. I don't know who I'd vote for. I think that could go a lot of ways. And my vote probably could change about four times in the next two weeks as we look at around on this. Grayson County falls in boys today here to Breckenridge County by a final score of 75 to 60. More comes up on the fifth quarter show after this. As again, your final score here. In fact, I, I, I want to check here. Kentucky looks like they're about to lose to Gonzaga to 89 to 85. In fact, I can just go ahead and just, just turn that off because that's just going to stress me out even more. And frankly, 
I know Coach Johnston's not a uh, Kentucky fan, so he'd probably make up, make maybe maybe a, make a snide comment or something. And I don't know that I want that. We're hurt now up here. Grayson County Falls. Final score: 75 to 60. Coach Johnston's still on with his team, so we'll take a break. Hopefully, he'll be on his way out after this. This is Cougar basketball on the Moose. Do you need help paying for college? Your first step is completing a FAFSA, free application for federal student aid. The 24-25 FAFSA will be available in late December 2023 and is more user-friendly. More students will be eligible for aid than ever before. Kia counselors and others are ready to help you. You're not in this alone. For more information, use the QR code or text money to 800-928-8926. Or you can visit gearupky.org slash money. said I had a 29% chance to find a blood stem cell donor. But I knew you were out there. And when we matched, it was the best day ever. Dear donor, your blood stem cells saved me from leukemia. Thank you forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Experience the true joy of saving a life at BeTheMatch.org. Evacuation is now underway as the storm approaches. The National Weather Service has issued a warning as it monitors the storm. Move the following counties there for sure. Convoy of Hope is ready to help you prepare for the next storm. Visit convoy.org slash prepare. Is Cougar basketball on K105. We got a rough officiating crew for this. You know, Bethlehem, I mean, Tony Embry, Norman Jennings. Phew, my goodness. They couldn't do any better than those two. It's weird seeing them on the floor, though, being Grayson County guys, that they obviously can't ref Grayson County games, so it's rare that we're at a game that's not Grayson County as we go. I know that uh, Brett Johnson, assistant coach, he popped out of their locker room, and I think he signaled that. Travis Johnston would be on his way. If not, we might be talking to Brett here in just a few minutes as it goes along. Again, the final score today, Brett County defeated Grayson 75-60. to 60. If you're watching, just a heads up, it's very possible the lights will turn off here in just a moment. I'm not sure if they'll do that or not, but uh, Coach Johnston is making his way out. In fact, they will come out. Hopefully, Coach, if we'll be able to make it out. In fact, what we'll do is we'll take a quick two-minute break and talk to Coach Johnston after this, as this is Cougar Basketball on the Moose. Are you looking for the best building materials in Litchfield? Look no further than Future Designs Building Materials. The builder's choice on Quarry Road has everything you need to build your dream home. Jim writes, I'm so glad I came to Future Designs for my new roof. The staff was so helpful and knowledgeable, and they made sure I got the right materials for my needs. Thanks, Jim. Future Designs is more than just a building materials store. Future Designs Building Materials on Quarry Road in Litchfield. FDBM.net. My name is Tara Mosley Hyde, and I'm the CEO of People Advocating Recovery. And I am also a person in long-term recovery. And when I first started my recovery journey, it wasn't always easy for me to access resources. So now, you can call today at 833-8KY-HELP and get access to treatment and other options and other resources. Call today. There is no judgment and no shame to look for help. Hi, I'm Dr. Ashley Gabbard, internal medicine physician with Owensboro Health. I'd like to talk with women 40 and over about having annual mammograms, even if there is no history of breast cancer in your family. Early detection provides women a strong advantage in fighting breast cancer. Ask your primary care provider for a referral 
and schedule your screening online at owensboroughealth.org. Control and Shoreline Restoration Solutions with Scotty's Contracting. Call 270-259-5696. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Welcome back here to the fifth quarter show. Sam Gormley now joined by Coach Travis Johnston. Coach, uh, I, I think that, you know, last night you said, in fact, let me do that to you before I forget it. Last night you said that if anyone was wondering whether you needed Brody Armstrong, they're crazy after last night. I think you saw it even more today. I mean, you, there, there are moments like that. How do you recreate that energy that Brody brings? Well, f first off, I mean, he is the only other guy that we have with size, but uh, our guys are tougher than what they showed today. Uh, I mean, we had four starters with one rebound at, at, at halftime. And, um, Combined? No, they each had one, but it, I mean, That's heck, not much we, better. Our, our stats had them at, had them at 12 offensive rebounds and us at nine defensive rebounds. And you know, part of our game plan was to let 23 shoot the three, and uh, he made a couple. And and but then once the guy makes a couple, they they do get hot. So you got to step out and get onto them, and and we didn't do that. And oh, we were just so much better than what we showed, and and um, we're we're what we. The coaches sometimes call front runners. When everybody is, is clicking and everything's going good, we're great. But if something ever goes wrong with us, we revert back to old habits and one-on-one and, -on -one and everything like that. And that's not how we're going to win games, especially against teams that are bigger uh, and more physical than us. And, and that's what happened tonight. But Brody is, is obviously, we've said it all year, he's the key to our team. Um, and he'd play right now if he could. He, he would put a mask on and play right now if he could, but he's still got to get cleared. Um, but, but we need him to get cleared fast. 23 pool. You mentioned that. He entered the season, hit it in nine threes. Yep. I don't know how many he had last night, but nine, and he has five, to, five today, I think yeah. is what it was. Is that when you almost just have to tip your cap? Well, at least the first three in the first half because we didn't do any adjustments there at the end. Uh, in the second half when he made the two in there, we, we talked about, hey, you're just going to have to go in and get on him a little bit and treat him like a shooter now. And we just left him wide open. And, and that comes from not concentrating. Uh, when we try to change something up, we're not concentrating enough because we're losing. Uh, and we're worried about my shot and this and that. And we just, <laughs> when things go bad, we're not very good. And, and by the looks of it, we're really, really bad, especially without Brody. How do you fix that? They, they have to, uh, I know, I know, every, I, I know everybody heard me yell that. I mean, I, d I don't know what to do as far as uh, motivation. I told them in the locker room, I said, fellas, if I yell, if I scream, if I jump onto you, if I coddle you, if I tell you, hey, come on now, pick it up, you're all right, blah, blah, blah. I, I just get, we get blank stares when things are going wrong. And, and we got to get out of our own heads. And, and I'm not sure there's anything that uh, as a staff we can do for that. I mean, I'll, I'll go home and think about it, but. Um, it's just the, the guys, I mean, not once did you see any of our guys get together and talk or, or talk about, a, a hey, hey, right on that, you got to make sure you drop. So it, it all comes from us. And, and the best teams, you hear college coaches say all the time, the best teams are player-led. And right now, we don't have anybody that's, that's talking on the floor and, and, or, or trying to pump somebody up or, or telling somebody, hey, you're supposed to be in the help side, get there. And, and there's just blank stares and, and, and quiet voices and everything like that. And that's just, that's got to come from them stepping up and, and concentrating on that stuff. You did have a couple of positives, I think, off the bench in today's game. I think uh, Zach came in, hit four threes. He was playing some good defense. And I thought, you know, Chase, yep. the, he came in and, I mean, one of the first plays he made, he went up like a linebacker against 11 for them yep. who might have had a foot in 130 pounds on him, not really, but it feels like that. But that's probably what you're looking for, a guy who's not afraid to and Chase is the smallest guy on the floor, but he went up and he fought. Well, see, that's the thing is that you can throw Chase out there. And I, I, know, I know certain kids have certain personalities and, and this and that, but you got you got Chase who's five foot, what, five maybe? You haven't uh, listed at five six in the roster. That ain't, I think that's, well, that that's ain't right. generous. Um, we must have, he must have paid me for two extra inches or something. <laughs> um, but, I mean, he goes in there and, and in – in whatever minutes he played, maybe five, 
he got his hand on a on a on one of our missed shots at least five six times. Yeah. And and you turn around and you look, our guys that played the most minutes, they're not even in there to get the hand on the ball. And he's and, five foot nothing. Yeah. And, and that's just that's a wheel. It's a one two half of uh, three fourths of rebounding is wanting to do it. The other, what I say, three fourths. The other quarter is knowing how to read a ball off the rim and, and hitting your guy and all the strategy stuff. But three quarters of it's want to, and he just wants to. Uh, heck, even Jaden Pierce came in there and got offensive rebound put back, and, and that might have been our only offensive rebound put back we had all night. And, uh, and it wasn't like Chase was doing it against Bench. He was playing against the starters the whole fourth quarter. So it's just well, I, I know our roles have to change because of Brody being out, but, but what they're good, they can't change what they're good at. Like Landon and Gage, they're good at, at all the little things, getting in there, getting their hand on balls, things like that. We can't change what we're good at. And, and right now, guys are just, if the thing ain't going their way, they're just saying, eh. And I wouldn't say quitting, but we're not concentrating very much. Monday, you've got the game against Butler that it doesn't not mean nothing because you all still technically would have a shot at a one seed. I think RPI would have to help you out a lot, but that gets into a lot of calculus, and, and I'm, that's a lot. But you still get the chance to beat them, which is something I know you all want to do. You played extremely well down there. It's a tough place to play. They're really good. Yep. There's, there's just no other way to put it. They're one of the top two or three teams in the region for a reason. Are you going to practice beforehand? And if you are, what are you focusing on, and how do you pull off an upset at home on Monday? Well, we will practice tomorrow short. Um, I'm not exactly sure what type of practice that'll be yet. Um, we'll watch some film on them from the last time to show where, where we want certain things at. But um, I don't know. A, a, a flip's got to switch pretty quick as far as our mindset and, and everything like that because if we do not come ready, um, <laughs> it's, it's going to be a long night. And they're that good. And, and if we come out with the, the effort and the uh, toughness or lack of toughness that we had today, um, getting shoved. Brett County so physical, and, and and yeah, we may get shoved and pushed there, but but we folded when that happened tonight. Instead of instead of taking it right back at them, and um, if we do that on Monday, then um, no offense to Brett because they're great, but but they have a lot more scores over there at Butler County, uh, and guy and and then they got six six and arguably the two of the best players in the in the region. So uh, it could be a long night if we don't come ready. Coach, we'll see you on Monday. Thanks. That's head coach Travis Johnston, Cougars fall tonight. This is Cougar Basketball on the Moose. Here's a simple truth about higher education. If pursuing your purpose, doing what you really care about matters. If having a rewarding career matters. If a better financial future for you and your family matters. Then higher education matters. A brighter future is within your reach. Find out how at kyhigheredmatters.org. Brought to you by this station and the Kentucky Broadcasters Association. The doctor said I had a 29% chance to find a blood stem cell donor. But I knew you were out there. And when we matched, it was the best day ever. Dear donor, your blood stem cells saved me from leukemia. Thank you forever and ever and ever. Experience the true joy of saving a life at BeTheMatch.org. Connection builds community. It grows the minds of future citizens and leaders. Connection teaches. It encourages. It builds confidence through relationships, through partnerships, through small daily acts, through high-impact programs at all levels. Connection says together we can. The one thing I know about Grayson County Schools, when you get the right people, going in the right direction, anything's possible. We are GC Connected. Are you looking for the best building materials in Litchfield? Look no further than Future Designs Building Materials. The builder's choice on Quarry Road has everything you need to build your dream home. Jim writes, I'm so glad I came to Future Designs for my new roof. The staff was so helpful and knowledgeable, and they made sure I got the right materials for my needs. Thanks, Jim. Future Designs is more than just a building materials store. Future Designs Building Materials on Quarry Road in Litchfield. FDBM.net. This is Cougar Basketball on K105. Grayson County falls to Breckenridge County, 
260. Running on the scoring from the first from the game. Breckenridge County, 18 points for Lance Poole and for Braden Carmen, 14 for Mercer Rogers, 12 for Chase Hardesty, 11 for Jonah Miller, 2 for Hayden Brockman. For Grayson County, 21 for Jack Logston, 12 for Zach Bradshaw, 9 for Spencer Langdon, 6 for Taden Logston, 4 for Kobe Martin, 3 each for Landon Haycraft and for Hayden Robinson, and 2 for Jaden Pierce. We'll be back on Monday. Cougars will host Butler County in a 12th district matchup. Coverage will begin at 540 back on K105 and also live via K105 Digital Productions. And then Tuesday, the Cougar boys will host John Harden. We'll have that coverage right here on the Moose and Digital Productions coverage as well. That'll wrap up our coverage. I want to thank the K105 Digital Productions crew for their hard work. Your camera operator was Eli Huffelpuff-Smith, and your director was Chase Blaine. We pulled him out of the, the bullpen. It was either him or Cole Snyder, and I mean... I, I don't know that we got the better end of that spectrum. I, 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 I don't know. We even were trying to get Malcolm Newton, but Malcolm was busy. So tonight we're Grayson County. Splits the double header, header. Lady Cougars won game one. And the Cougar boys fall in game number two. So until next time, Sam Gormley saying so long, everyone.